An expat is an immigrant that deliberately said, okay, well, enough of this kind of society. I need a new kind of society. People are very welcoming. If you, we, we do our best with Spanish, uh, we're still learning. You got guavas, fresh tomatoes, apples, tomatillos. Do you consider yourself an expat? Yeah, I guess so. So you have to remember, we're guests here. For decades, I've been obsessed with the expat experience. What would it be like to live in a foreign country? So I decided to come down to Mexico to see for myself. Who are you, lady? I'm your wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you on the ride, baby. This place is Posada del Pozo, which is where you'll be spending some wonderful nights. Oh, love it. And so we're very happy to have you. You sound like an American. I was raised in New York, born in Michoacan, so I'm 100% Mexican, but I was raised in New York, came back for college, Loved Mexico, found my new love, and decided to stay. Tell us who you are. I am Julio Cambron. You are in San Miguel de Allende. This is the world's greatest city, according to travel and leisure. Hi, I'm Nare. I've been living here for two years. I'm a semi retired dog trainer from California. What's going to happen now? We're going to my dance class. This is Joan. She's my friend and she's been in San Miguel for a really long time. My stepfather had been in two wars as a bombardier and he was more of a real pacifist as a human being. So when another war was coming up, the Vietnam War, they decided they didn't want to stay and participate with their taxes in a war. So they left and they wound up coming to San Miguel and staying and lived here for more than 50 years. So buckle up, baby, and let's go. My name's Maria Cavanaugh, and I'm from Oak Park, Illinois, but now I'm from San Miguel de Allende. So you actually moved here? Yes, I did. We bought a house. We, uh, we've, yes. we've been here since the end of November. Is your husband involved with this too? Yes, he's uh, hot in the music scene, and uh, you know we just go to clubs every night and uh, you know hang around bars, just like when we were in Chicago. <laughs> this is exactly what I live for, yes! Now let's meet some more expats. Hi, I'm Nate. I'm Karen. How long have you guys been here? We moved down here at the end of September and uh, we're planning to stay here for uh, about a year and uh, kind of see how it goes. Why did you move here? Are you getting away from something or are you seeking something? I don't think we're getting away from something. I think we're seeking a simpler lifestyle, getting off the work and keeping up with the Joneses treadmill. <laughs> and just simplifying our lives. What is the rent, if you don't mind me asking? The, the house, the monthly rental at this place is $1,000. And parents, friends, what'd they say? They were supportive. My dad is a little bit concerned, but you know, but overall they supported our decisions and they were happy for us. So Julio, should I move here? Well, I can't tell you what to do. Just follow your heart and It'll lead you to the best place. Thank you, man. But if it happens to be here, you're welcome. Ah. <laughs> you have un amigo. Yes. You have un amigo. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next. You're watching Wild Retirement. What do we mean by Wild Retirement? Well, think of it like this. Wild is an acronym, and it stands for What I Love Doing. These are stories about people at a particular stage in their lives who've made a decision to do what they love doing. Because where would you rather be? I call it living the wild life. Here's a glimpse of what's coming in the weeks ahead. Four years ago, I sold all my possessions, sold my house in the US, and I've been traveling full time around the world ever since. New York's got Central Park, <laughs> Chicago's got Lincoln Park, and you got what? La Barranca de Huentitan, the third most important canyon in North America. And remember, this is winter. We're suffering. <laughs> this is the bedroom on the left, and here is the bathroom area. And this is it, home sweet home. <laughs> Come on, come on, let's do a selfie, come on. Viva Mexico!